Welcome to this episode of the Morning Tea Marketing Misses, where the purpose is to offer valuable tips to small business owners and sole traders to improve the marketing and the exposure online. The hosts are the usual Narel Gaddy, who is an accredited accessibility auditor. As myself, my business is Speech Perfect. I help you step up to stand out. Kate is a graphic designer, and Kate will be sharing her expertise in this episode. And Jan Rose's business is BizConnect Web Designs and over 50. Oh, hey, ladies. Hi. Hello. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> and Kate, we're talking about brand recognition. Yes, and I feel like I harp on about that all the time in our calls guys so today I'm going to take a slightly different um, approach to it I want to talk about rebranding so rebranding is something you might do if if you've had the same brand for a long time and you need to freshen up and I want to talk about the reasons you might rebrand as opposed to create an entirely new brand because that brand recognition that you've won over the years or even just months is super valuable. So just 10 years ago, you only needed four to six touch points with a potential client for them to become a lead. Mm -hmm. Now it's 15 to 20. Mm -hmm. So (laughs) if you're rebranding or changing your brand, changing your color scheme, changing things about your business constantly, you might be getting to 10 or 12 and then you've changed it and you're starting from zero again. So Rebranding is a great way to keep parts of your brand so that you're still recognizable to those clients or potential clients that are coming up in your funnel, seeing you more and more, gaining trust with your brand and still be able to keep those touch points into your new brand. So I guess some reasons to get a completely new brand would be if if your brand doesn't have anything to do with where you want to go from now. So that might be because you've changed your target market. So the customers that have those touch points, they're no longer relevant to you. You've you've changed your offering so considerably that you need to just change everything. And it's not going to hurt that brand recognition because you're more or less starting from scratch Mm -hmm. as far as that goes. Um, If you've had a negative kind of experience for your customers, I know Narelle mentioned a really negative um, brand touch point for a hotel a few weeks back. Um, If you've had something that's terrible and really brand shattering, you might consider rebranding completely just to start afresh and have um, new impressions for your brand. Um, I guess if you've also done a merger, if you've got two businesses coming together, you've purchased a major business and so you want to show that the two have come together and that you're a whole new entity now with a bit of a different offering or a different value structure, you might do a completely new brand to represent both and and show the bringing together of those. Um, Or if you've completely changed your strategy as a business. So there's some reasons to completely change your brand. But if you're just looking at your logo and it's a bit tired and you're no longer proud to give out your business card or you just don't think it quite represents you anymore, I think it's really important to consider a rebrand rather than a full new brand. So when we rebrand... I often do for my clients, I say, look, we need to keep at least a color or some of the shapes that you use in your branding. Perhaps your fonts can stay the same. Perhaps if you've got a, a um, thinking of emoji, you know, a, a mascot as part of your brand, maybe we keep that, but we give it a new look and a new spin, Make bring it up to date. Because sometimes it is just that it looks a bit dated or it's not quite as professional as you'd like it. We often, as new business owners, we do our own logo. You might have done it in Canva or or got someone from Upwork to do it. And it just wasn't quite the best result, but it was the thing that got you going at the start for the price point that worked for you. And that's fantastic. And you want to still keep that brand recognition because you've built it, but now you're like, well, I want a professional brand. So what we can do as brand designers is take what you have, polish it, bring it up to the standard that you want people to see you at. Maybe your clients are now at a higher, like your products at a higher price point and your brand needs to reflect that. We can take your original brand and make it look like the brand that you need it to be now and the brand that you need it to be in five years because we want to create aspirational brands for ourselves, not where you are now. You want to create the brand that looks like what you want to be in five years. 
So yeah, I mean, I talk a lot about making sure you use your brand all the time and put it wherever you can. I think some that people really miss is email signatures, uh, business cards. Mm. Give your business cards out, guys. You know, you order 500 at a time. Might as well get rid of them. <laughs> put your signage up. If you're going to events, networking events, take your banners. Every time someone sees those those brands, your colors, your logo, your face, and they associate all these things together, you're building trust. Mm. It's It's strange that that's how it works, just seeing something, but that's human psychology. The more you see something, the more you trust it. So, yeah just keep those touch points going and get to that 15 to 20. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a great idea is the rebranding. I know I had a rebranding about 12 months ago, Kate, and I was yeah. in a different colour space than what I am now and moved more into the orange and the navy, which is definitely me. But I'd also rebranded. So I rebranded a few years ago from Speech Perfect, which is still my business brand. It had a microphone in the logo around like a different type of microphone but when I rebranded I still included a microphone but used my name instead mm -hmm. so that wasn't mm -hmm. a huge step because people had got to know my name and then mm -hmm. rebranded the colors which still had the same logo but different colors so each one was a progression without it being yes a huge huge step yeah, you mm -hmm. don't want such a big departure because you want to keep your audience knowing who mm -hmm. you are. Yeah. yeah, good call. Yeah. So yeah. when we've I'm, um sorry, Nora, I'll, I'll wait yeah. For you. yeah, I was thinking about okay, Broncos and the Broncos logo when they first started, what, 30 odd years ago now to now. So they've kept the colours the same the same and they've kept the fact that it's a horse, but they've just kept updating and that's what rebranding is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We, yeah. Um, Thank you. With our example. Yeah. We um we used to just have Biz Connect. So we've always still had that um, I guess waves, the fact that we're in Redcliffe, but um mm. uh, it, it's kind of like connecting everything together, right? Mm. Um, and then <clears throat> we we added the web design um because there are a few other businesses around who are using the name Biz Connect, mm. um, but they don't do what we're doing, right? So um, we've added the web design, but we also, our latest little addition you might notice is that there's a tiny little R at the end of Connect, which means that we are a registered trademark. So, um, yes, thank wow. you. And so going through that process, we um, we had a, a letter coming back saying, sorry, you can't have it, someone else, blah, 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 blah. And Pat sat on it for ages, almost 12 months after that letter. And then he, he looked and he goes, you know what, I'm going to go back and say, um, firstly, this other company, their logo looks nothing like ours. Mm -hmm. They don't do web design. And so it just so happens that, you know, when you've got to take a class, when you're um, registering a trademark, it can take mm -hmm. in a lot of things that you don't necessarily even cover all of anyway, which is exactly the situation here. So as soon as Pat went back and said, no, I'm objecting to your objection because of this, this and this, and straight away, yep, approved. So oh, there cool. you go. Oh. So he could have just let it go, but he went, no, I'm, I'm going to say something about this. And, yes, it, so it's straight away been approved after the initial stuff. So, oh, wow. yeah, there thank you. you. Mm. Yeah. Never take no for an answer. Oh, no, oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, that's, that's brilliant. Yeah. Such such uh, great information, and it's so it's so simple, Kate. But it's not what people think of. Mm. It's, you know, not, and there were yeah, very good right. reasons why you would rebrand and totally rebrand. Mm -hmm. And I know a, a friend of mine has joined with somebody else, and they formed an academy, and so it's a totally different brand with them together with the people that she's working with is with the academy and mm -hmm. and with our retreats mm -hmm. where I work with other people we've got beautiful branding retreats which is a different again but it's a collaboration with those people mm -hmm. and yeah colors, these are great colors are a bit similar. A new it's brand. been a meld of the colors of the of the three of yeah. us in mm -hmm. it <laughs> I took quite a few notes as you were speaking Kate and um mm -hmm. fantastic I like you know, the different reasons as to why you would rebrand um, as opposed to completely um, like renov re renovating your branding, basically giving mm. it a, 
um, yeah. a spruce up versus one. just yeah, canning yeah. it and starting again. Like, yes, how, don't demolish how, the house if it can be renovated, yeah, exactly. right? <laughs> yeah, and the same same with us with web design. We can renovate a website mm. instead of having to do a complete rebuild because. And one of the points mm. that you, um, uh, some of the points that you made is that you know you've already got some of these great things in place you know some like your values values may still be the same some other things may have changed you just might be outdated or whatever um same with us with um seo um historical seo is extremely important when it comes to a website so why trash all of that when you've worked really hard to get it yeah 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 Yeah. great great points And that, thank you, Kate. And thank you, everyone, for the contribution. I learned things every single time. And that's another episode of the Morning Tea Marketing Misses. Please remember to follow us on YouTube or wherever you see an episode and subscribe. And that way you won't miss anything at all. Lots of great information over the last six, seven, eight months. And I'm sure that there'll be something there that you can learn and apply in your business. Thank you, ladies. Thank you for such great input today. And we'll say goodbye for now. See you next time. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye. Bye.